Hi, welcome to Sunny Girls Crafts. Today I'm sharing with you a cute little bag I created using the mini treat bag. And this is for 3D Thursdays, uh, which is a new program that I'm going to be starting where I'll be sharing something 3D. It's also a project we did in my craft club. And if you want more information about my craft clubs, please visit my blog at www sunnygirlscraps.com. We're going to need the thinlet and we're going to need the big shot. Here's my big shot. So here I have um, a 6x6 sheet of paper, um, designer series paper. It's the Painted Blooms. And I'm going to take my um, mini treat bag uh, thinlets. I actually have them on magnetic sheets. And we're going to need this one sheet right here, this one thinlet here. And I want the little uh, zigzag to be at the top of where my bag will be, so that'll be the opening. I am going to just stick it in here. Um, it's going to look like it doesn't fit, but it does. Um, it's just a very close to the edge. We're going to run this through the big shot. Uh-oh. And i got to adjust. I see it came off a little bit. Whew, that was close almost screwed up okay so here we go we're gonna run that through it's fixed and you can really hear it snap so here we are we've got the first portion um, punched out and you can see from the scrap that there's not much left it uses everything um, so then next I'm gonna set this side up aside and I'm gonna take the other portion of the mini treat bag, which is this one right here. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so here we are, the right way. I'm going to put this down here. Make certain we have the, the right direction. So you can kind of see that there. I'm going to take my plates and just stick it through here. I'm not going to worry about that. Ugh. And here we are. And there you have it. I've got the second half cut out. And now, before I put my big shot away, um, for this I need to cut the banner. So I'm going to take my Whisper Whites and I'm going to take my um, banner um, framelits. Make certain I have the right size. There we are. And I'm going to just set this down here and cut this out. Turn it that way. There we go. Now we'll just take my big shot and move that out of the way. So we have the cutout banner, we have our mini treat bag, and um, you can't probably see this on um, the video, but there's um, score line here. So I like to take my bone folder and just really score that nice and get it um, so it lays nice and flat. And then there's a score line here and I will fold and again score. And then on the bottom here where this flap is, there's another score line. And I will take that one and score. So there we are, we've had have each piece that's scored. Now I like to use my fast fuse and I'm just going to take and put adhesive on this portion of the flap and I'm going to take this um, the second piece here, the larger piece, and I'm just going to line this up. I'm going to line it so this edge is up against this crease here, that the creases line up with the edge of the paper. There we are. And now I like to take my bone folder again and just push really nicely and hard against the paper. You can see I'm off a little bit, but no big deal. I don't worry about that. And then I'm going to take my fast fuse and just get the inside there. There we go. And again, take my bone folder, kind of seal the adhesive. And now we'll take the bottom flap and fold that down. 
And there you have it. You have the um, mini bag. It's ready for some treats. I really find the Giardelli chocolates fit really nicely in here, or Dove chocolates fit nicely in here. I've also seen some other really great ideas. We'll move on. Um, so now what I did for uh, this bag here is I did fold down the top, so we're gonna fold that down. And I'm gonna use my bowl and folder again. And there we go. I'm gonna set this off to the side. And now I've got the flower, and I actually have two of the little flowers already punched out, and I'm gonna punch out one more, just so you can see what I'm doing. Set that off to the side. And then use my bone folder to curl the edges. I have to tell you right now, if you don't have a bone folder, you need to get a bone folder. This is one of the best tools. I just love this and I use it all the time. And then I have my glue dots right here and I'm gonna just take some glue dots and stick them on the back of my flower. And now I'm gonna just kind of scrunch it up and I'm going to put that in the center. And I got it kind of curled. So the one in the middle is curled the most and then it kind of fans out. And now I did do one other step. I have my petite petals punch. So I punched that out twice. Here we are, just gonna curl those a little bit. And then we're gonna take our glue dots again. So I didn't line them up completely. I didn't want them lined up. So I now I'm gonna just kind of again curl the edges. And again, take more glue dots. And I'm gonna just set that in the center of the flower. So there you can see my flower. Now I couldn't find my vintage faceted buttons. I might have run out, so that's why I don't have them. So I'm actually going to use one of the um, silver metallic buttons. Let's try the smallest size, see how we like that. You know what, I really like that. So we're gonna go with that. Then I have my linen thread, so I'm gonna just thread through the that and through there. Glue this down right away. There we are. I'm not gonna tie the bow yet. I'm gonna just set that aside. Um, next, I'm going to take my banner. I got some fuzzies everywhere here. And I am using the um, lovely Amazing You stamp set. This was released in February, so it's gonna be around for at least uh, another five months or so. And I really love this one, and I am using the Can't You can't thank you enough. So let's stamp that. I have it already mounted and I'm using the Rose Red Classic Ink. I'm going to ink that up and then just, uh oh, I have, I can see that there's a little fuzzy on there. Okay, so and then I'm gonna just stamp straight down. I love that you can see where you're stamping and you can really line it up. So there we are, looks really cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my flower that I just made and I'm going to actually attach the flower again using glue dots. And now I'm gonna just tie my bow. Not too picky about how the bow turns out. We're just gonna tie it up here. So for the final step, we're just gonna take this punch here and we're going to punch out. I don't need that much, so I'm gonna just cut this here. I've got my tag, I got my flower on there, but I'm gonna measure my size here a little bit. So I think I want it right about there. And what I'm gonna do, a little trick here, is I'm going to just trim that, and then I'm just going to put a little strip of glue, and you can see that it's gonna just go along there. Oh, if you heard that, that was the cat. Okay, so now we're gonna take this, and we're gonna take our essentials clip, clip that right on there, and there we have it. It holds it closed, super cute. Thank you for joining me.